Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today we are going to be discussing how I was able to manifest my home. Yes, I'm gonna be giving you guys all of the deets on how I was able to put myself in this position, how I was able to change my mind, and what helped me get to where I am today. So I hope you guys like this content. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up for more videos in regards to manifestation. And let's get right into the topic today. So you guys, I recently became a homeowner and as I step back to reflect on how far I've come, it really dawns on me to share this information with you guys because this is not something that happened overnight this was something that i really truly desired i wanted to be a homeowner and to finally be here i felt that it was my duty to come and share with you guys kind of how i got here and how i was able to just change my outlook on life and my mind frame. A lot of you guys comment in the comment section and ask me, how do I remain so positive? How do I stay motivated? Well, here it is. So about two years ago, I started this finance journey that I've been on since then, and I haven't given up. I've been on this journey for two years, going on three years, you guys. It sounds crazy, but it was really a life changing point for me because I knew I wanted better. I wanted a better life for myself, but more importantly, I wanted a better life for my daughter. I wanted to give her the things that I never had. And I know a lot of parents say these things, but we always let some things just hold us back and we never really get to fulfill those promises or those things that we really want to give our children. So two years ago, I knew I wanted to change pretty much everything that I was doing at that time. I wanted to be better. I wanted to do better. And in order for me to get to where I am today, there was a lot of self-reflection, but there was a lot of studying that went into how to have a more positive outlook on life, how to be more in tune with who I am, how to be more positive and speak positivity over my life and how to get rid of the negativity that I associated myself with for so long. So I read books and I know a lot of people aren't readers. A lot of people don't really care to read, but there is so much information in books and I really think it's important to want to be able to learn and want to be able to seek out the Seek out this information that's going to be helpful for you. You have to go and you have to learn it and you have to go and get the information. It's not going to come to you. So I was introduced to this book two years ago from a co-worker and it was called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. I've read that book so many times since then and it's just kind of a pick me upper these days when I turn and read a certain page it reminds me of why I started this journey and how it's been beneficial in my life and if you guys don't know what book I'm talking about I have it here with me this book I actually spoke about this book a few years ago and a previous manifestation video I will link it down below so you guys can check this out this is not made up. I'm not just saying this because I bought a house and it has to be somehow I got it. No, I literally live by this book ever since I've read it. It just changed so many things about myself. It makes me be more positive. It makes me want to be more positive, should I say. And it really helped me just get on the right path because let me tell y'all, I was not always this person. I used to be super negative. I used to be so unmotivated. I used to just feel pity for myself because I was always a hard worker. Don't get me wrong. I always went out and got it for myself. But there were certain things that I just couldn't get past. There were certain obstacles that I had to face. And I couldn't understand why I wasn't 
benefiting from the things that I was doing. I was working hard. I felt like I was doing what I was supposed to do, but I had to come to realization that my mindset was so poor. I was always negative. I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm broke. I'm this. I don't got it. I was so negative. So when I was introduced to this book and I kind of started to understand the universe more and it made more sense to me because I always wondered like you know I always wonder about a lot of stuff I'm very I'm a very curious person if I can say so myself I always want to know certain things and then when I start to know and learn too much I'm kind of like okay back back before the FBI come and get you but no I just found that I had to seek within and I had to change some things within in order to benefit on the outside and to grow and to become a better person and that's kind of the journey that I've been on and that gets me to where I am today because I was not always this way basically and I read books and they motivate me and they help me to stay positive, positive. They help me to continue to grow and to keep going on this journey because it's very beneficial. This is another book that I've read and I'm pretty sure you guys probably have seen this book. This is a very good book. It's very helpful and it reminds me it reminded me so much of myself she reminded me so much of myself and th that person being scared to take risks scared to do new things scared to try new things fear fear has held me back from a lot of things even before becoming a homeowner i started to question can i really do this can you really be a homeowner and i had to revert back to what i knew and be positively over myself and say yes you can do this this is something you do want you will get it you're going to be okay pretty much but reading helped me get through a lot and it helps me remain positive and it helps me remain motivated because these stories remind me so much of myself and I find that if you read a book you would probably feel the same way like oh this is me this is how I am but you have to be willing to change who you are to get to where you're trying to go you can't be stuck in your ways you can't think that your way is the only way and it's the right way because that's not always the case so you have to be willing to learn even at a older age even with a d college degree even with high school behind you you still have to be willing to learn as you go throughout this life and that's me I'm always open to learning and hearing from other people hearing their experiences seeing how they got to the point in their life I'm always open to learning and that is something that you may want to consider just be open don't think you know it all you won't get far thinking you always know it all throughout this life because you're never going to want to gain more. You're not going to be able to go out there and get more information because you think you already know it. So it's going in one ear and out the other. But outside of the books and how I stay motivated and how all of this pertains to me becoming a homeowner. I know you guys are like, OK, so, you know. So before I became a homeowner on this journey, I started to journal. Um, I've been journaling for a while now. If you guys watch my plan with me videos, you guys see how I go throughout my whole day of planning. Early in the morning when you first wake up, listen to a motivational speaker, Les Brown. He, he gets me going all the time and sit down and write out the things that you want. Write out the things that you want as if you already have them that's the important thing so this is my journal and as I was going through my journal I go back to November 11th 11 11 I wrote if you guys can see I don't know I wrote about my home I wrote about being a homeowner I wrote about what I was 
grateful for, what I was thankful for. I wrote about my YouTube this day and I wrote about my house this day before I even knew what type of house I was getting, before I even knew if I was going to be purchasing the house. I wrote about it and I, and I say, I have a four bedroom, two bathroom home in an amazing school district. It is a nice neighborhood and I end a great investment. I am wealthy and my energy is filled with joy and happiness. That is what I wrote on 11, 11, 2019 before I knew I had a thought that I wanted to purchase a home, but I did not get serious about purchasing a home until 2020 came. And I was like, Hmm, let me see if I can get pre-approved for a home. So during this time, I was just writing as if I already had this home, as if it was already mine, as if I was living in this home and it was my home without knowing that it was my home. And now here today, I'm in this same home, four bedroom, two bath, nice neighborhood, great school district. And those are the things you want to write about. Those are the things you want to journal about. You want to speak on it as if you already have it. But you want to be realistic at the same time. Be realistic with yourself. You know, I know a lot of people say, well, oh, I'm Bill Gates. I get it. That meme. Trust me, I feel the same way. But it can really, really change your life if you start to believe the things that you are writing. That's the important thing. You have to believe in the things that you're writing and you have to take action towards the things that you're writing. It's not just going to come to you, but you're it will put you on the path to get to where you need to be if you are open to going down that path and being open to, you know, taking that journey. If you're not open, then you may miss out. And that is where the negative or the fear comes into play that you have to defeat. So not only was I journaling about my home, I was also putting it on my vision boards. So what I want, what I want out of this year, what I want to be working towards this year. You guys know I mentioned the end goal for me every time I speak about like my financial journey. It's always the end goal to be financially free and to be a homeowner. That was one of my goals. Be a homeowner by 30. And here I am now 27 years old and I have a home. I had to really think how old I was, y'all. I paused because I was like, wait, am I 27? <laughs> Once you get past 25, you just start to forget how old you are. And I literally just turned 27. But that's besides the point. Besides the point. Some of y'all told me age don't even matter after a certain age and I'm starting to believe y'all because I cannot remember my age but I use my vision board and I have my vision board here for 2020 just so you guys know I'm not making this up you can go watch videos on this it's all on my channel this literally played out in front of you guys if no one is a believer you guys should be a believer my loyal subscribers you guys have watched my journey so you know and here I put homeowner 2020 homeowner and I put feel at home in your home success is not for the lazy and I had a savings goal because my savings played a part in whether I was going to be a homeowner just making sure I had the down payment I had the closing call so yeah I literally put my my thoughts and pictures and words and I've manifested these things by having a positive mind frame by having a positive outlook on life by changing the way I think stop being so negative or being a negative Nancy being that person no one wants to be around because that doesn't get you anywhere it doesn't get you far in this life you have to really settle down and I have learned that you can get yourself worked up over certain things, but it's not going to benefit you. And by you getting worked up, it's not changing your reality. By you having a more positive outlook on things, it makes situations more, more positive. 
it helps you deal with things in a better way. I work in customer service and I get people who call in all the time, angry, upset about their insurance. And it's like you're angry and you're upset, but it's not going to get this resolved any quicker. It's not going to get it resolved any better. It's not going to lower your rate by you being angry or upset. It's not going to get you anywhere but upset. And since I've worked in this position and I've worked many different customer service roles since I was a teen, I have learned by other people how not to act, how not to get myself worked up because it's not going to get me anywhere. I'm just going to be mad, upset, and still nothing's going to get resolved because it's not that the person doesn't want to help you. It's just that there's nothing they can do. So now you're mad, you're upset. Now you've made this other person upset and worked up for what? For what? What did it solve? What did you get resolved? Many people think calling in, getting the attitude in there. And then at the end of the day, you still have to tell them, okay, well, I'll follow up or I'll put this in or, but it doesn't really get you anywhere. So why make yourself upset? That's all I'm getting at. Have a more positive outlook, have a better stance on life, have a better mindset and it'll get you further. I'm a living witness. So when you guys ask me how I stay positive, how I stay motivated, it's just by changing my mindset and knowing that I cannot fix the world. I'm not a super superhero and if I get myself worked up, it's not really going to benefit me. It's not going to get me anywhere quicker. It's not going to increase my bank funds any quicker. So remain calm, remain positive, and just let the universe, just let, just let it work out for itself because it will work out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped someone. I hope I explained it the best I could. I gave you guys the books, I gave you guys the journal, I gave you guys the vision board. I'm not saying that that is the cure to this whole thing, but it helps you get to where you need to be. And it'll help you change your mindset. It'll make you wanna be better. It'll make you want to do more and it'll motivate you. And once you start to get that feeling, it's a feeling that you don't wanna go away. So you're always gonna work towards that feeling i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have any other questions in regards to manifestation how i purchase my home finances anything of that nature this is a lifestyle channel you get a little bit of everything on my channel so make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in another video bye guys